For many struggling with obesity, weight loss surgery is a last resort. But there's a difference between most people who've undergone this operation and Melody Taylor from Saline County. She's 18 years old. Turns out this is not uncommon. National data shows the number of adolescents ages 12 to 19 who are heavy enough to qualify for weight loss surgery nearly doubled between 1999 and 2014. Tonight, krk 4 Suzanne Bruner explains why this procedure isn't about looking a certain way and why Melody believes this is the final option to save her life. A warning, footage of the surgery may not be for everyone. Going down memory lane. This is on a boat deck. 18-year-old <laughs> Melody Taylor great. remembers happy times. She wouldn't change a thing about her childhood, where she spent a lot of time outdoors with her friends. But sometimes... Of course, I'd always been the chunky kid in class. She felt different. I've been overweight my whole life. It wasn't until Melody was 10 when she realized she was overweight. That's when she started her first diet. Oh, gosh, what haven't I done? <laughs> She showed me workout videos. Here's the first one. That got her off the couch to dance and exercise with weights. This guy really likes to work you out. He made me sweat and cry. Melody also filled the refrigerator with protein, colorful fruits, and vegetables. Here's the stir fry that we had last night. But the diets um, didn't last long. Yeah. Why haven't they worked? I don't know. I just... I guess I lose motivation, maybe, because I feel like I'm disappointed. After much research and talks with doctors at the Arkansas Heart Hospital, Melody made the life-changing decision to get weight loss surgery. I want to continue to being how I am, you know? I'm sorry. Melody says she has a family history of diabetes and heart disease. Now weighing at about 275 pounds, health has become her number one priority. It's not so much like, oh, I want to look rocking in a size five, but it's more like, I don't want to give up my life. <laughs> Melody is prepped for gastric sleeve surgery. That's where doctors remove about 80% of her stomach, including a hunger hormone. Then they staple the remaining portions together to make a new banana-sized stomach or sleeve. This option will allow Melody to feel full quicker and not eat as much. I wouldn't say it's an uncommon thing, but it's just not a, a, a typical patient. As in any case of anyone who wants this procedure, Dr. Samuel Bledsoe says Melody had to talk to a psychiatrist to make sure she was mentally prepared and understands what life will look like after surgery. We do have extra requirements for somebody who is that young. Now, there are uh, facilities out there that actually operate on what we would call pediatric patients, 13, 14-year-olds. The Arkansas a heart hospital will not operate on children 17 and younger. Legally, Melody is an adult at 18 and chose this option as her last best hope. We visited Melody the next morning. Good. She is on liquids for several weeks before slowly transitioning into soft foods. My appetite's completely gone. Like. I'm not hungry, so I guess that's the biggest change. What once looked tasty on TV, not so much anymore. Melody says she has lost several pounds before and after surgery and feels some discomfort. She hopes to lose 100 pounds while eating right and attending weight loss support groups to stay motivated. I just don't want to have those health problems that come later with being overweight, so I'm excited to change my life. As a new door opens for Melody, she's going home with a new outlook on life, health, and a challenge she's determined to conquer. In Little Rock, I'm Suzanne Bruner. And since weight loss surgery, Melody has lost 45 pounds, and we're starting to see more adolescents go through this type of procedure. So does it work, and what are the effects? You can actually check out a study that highlights the impacts.